Hi everyone. So if you have seen my last two videos on um, doing web automation using this tool called UI Vision RPA, uh, today we're going to extend that uh, tutorial a little to talk a little about the uh, additional module called X modules. Now, what's X modules? Um, if you notice in the last two videos, um, what we have been doing is only automating actions that is on the browser. So, uh, with the standard RPA, uh, UI Vision RPA extension, all you could do is automate actions inside the browser. But uh, you know, uh, our computer is more than just the browser. So we have other things like, you know, I'm using a Mac operating system. So I may have other applications like mail and, and, and all the other applications that is not uh, accessible from within the browser. So to have real automation work, uh, we do need to be able to extend uh, the automation capability onto the desktop environment as well. So um, just the standard UI Vision RPA that we've been talking about, uh, it's not good enough. It's, it doesn't allow you to automate activities on your uh, operating system. Um, and if you look at uh, uh, the uh, standard um, UI Vision RPA, which we've been looking at as, uh, for the last two videos, you will also notice that um, you know the script or the macro that we recorded uh, has so far been only been able to be stored within the browser. Now, if we try to store that uh, uh, the, the, you know the macro on the file system on the hard disk of my computer, so that you know I could back it up or I could you know bring it to another computer or or I might want to. Uh, save it, you know, even if I delete my browser, I do not want to lose those scripts, uh, you know, then I need to save it in the file system. But to do that, if I just change the storage mode to the file system, uh, without X modules, I will hit an error and it will tell me uh, that X modules is not installed. X file access module is not installed. Uh, and, and essentially, Basically, that's what what is telling me is, is is the RPA browser extension that we are using is not able to access the file system on my computer. So what X modules is for is to extend uh, this browser extension capability so that it it can interact with our desktop, it can interact with our local computer. So you can look at X modules as if it's an agent. Uh, that sits on the computer that the browser extension will use to access the resources on the computer. And that's what we're going to cover today. Okay, so, uh, and, and I'm using a Mac operating system. Um, so the video today is going to show you how we can set this up on the Mac operating system. Okay, so uh, without further ado, uh, let, let's start the process. So First thing you do is go to the website UI Vision, uh, as you have been before. Uh, if you followed my last two tutorials, you would have installed the browser extension as well. Yeah. Um, so next thing you want to do is click on this install X modules, and it will be brought to this X modules page. Uh, essentially, there will be an explanation about what X modules is. Essentially, what I've just uh, shared with you over the last uh, two minutes or so. Um, and then what we want to do is click on this download. All right, and you will notice that uh, X modules have three different uh, agents for three different uh, operating systems. And that's the, one of the best things about UI Vision because uh, it's probably one of the only uh, automation solutions out there who, you know, that has support for both Linux, Mac OS, uh, as well as in, in addition to Windows. And, and if you look at other RPA tools on the market, most of them are focused on the Windows platform, primarily because most businesses and enterprises use Windows. Um, but, but the nice thing about UI Vision, it has Mac OS as well. So uh, for the video today, I'm just gonna download the Mac OS version. Okay, and it will start a download. Um, it's about, as you can see, 14.5 megabyte uh, in size. So now that the uh, uh, download has been completed, so let me just go into my finder and you'll see that I have my um, 
add-on uh, UI Vision X modules downloaded here. And you can see the version right now is 2020.02. Uh, and perhaps when you're looking at this video in the future, this number might change, uh, but I doubt that the uh, architecture would have changed much. All right, so anyway, double click that so that it extends it into the uh, a folder here. Now the next steps are very important, uh, essentially because uh, we're gonna run the install. We're gonna do the install on the Mac OS. And on the Mac OS, it's, it's a little bit more complicated than if you were to do it on Windows. On Windows, it's very simple. Just you know, open up the installer and go next, 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 and it's done. But on the Mac operating system, um, you do need to follow certain rules because of the tighter security uh, on the Mac platform. So uh, one of the key things to remember is that uh, you need to move this folder to a location where you're not going to move it anymore. So you need to move it to a your install your preferred install location, yeah, uh, on wherever that is. So so in my case, I'll put it under uh, my user here uh, in my home folder. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, um, move this. Sorry, I'm just going to be able to drag and drop it here. Okay. And this is essentially where I intend to have my, um, uh, you know, X modules installed. So after this, I will not be moving this folder to anywhere else on my computer. Okay, so to actually commence with the install, so what you do is we launch a terminal session. Homebrew here. Okay, so so here you see um, I'm in my home folder. So let me move to the uh, UI Vision folder. Um, and clear the screen and this uh, directory, and you will see that um, I have all these scripts here. So to actually do the install, I need to run this one install shell script okay and to do that i just do sh1 install.sh okay and what you would see is the uh, is a very quick install uh, essentially what uh, the install script has done is he has connected uh, installed the chrome firefox um, linkage of you know the, the extension to the uh, local uh, x modules uh, that we have uh, in this folder Okay, so what we're looking for really is this all done happy automation statement uh, that tells me that, yep, this is done. Now, um, to test, the next thing we want to do is to actually test um, that uh, the, the install has been done correctly. Now, so what we do is go back to our browser and click on this UI Vision extension. Now, you can see now that when we try to launch the browser extension, a pop-up appears now okay and this is good because what it's doing is when we try to launch that extension uh, now that extension tries to run that x modules add-on that we have just installed now because um, the add-on was not signed with an apple developer certificate um, you get this problem uh, and essentially what it's trying to do is run the file access host program uh, but because it is not signed by an Apple developer certificate, you get this problem. Don't worry about it. What we'll do is we click cancel now. Okay, and then what we're going to do is go to system preferences. Okay, and then go to security and privacy. And then go to the general tab if you're not there. Okay, and now you would see a comment here that says that Cantu file access host was blocked. Yeah. Uh, so what we want to do is click allow anyway, okay, and close this screen, and then let's close this screen, okay, and then let's launch the browser again, all right, and then you would see the, now there's a different error, uh, similar veins, it's trying to verify the Cantu file access host program, it says that Mac OS cannot verify the developer and now you're sure you want to open it. So now Mac gives us a option to actually open it because we have allowed this uh, to go on earlier. So we can open. All right. And now uh, the Mac OS would have uh, remembered our setting, allowing us to run this uh, X modules from the RPA, uh, UI Vision RPA browser extension. Okay. So if I click this, here and now if I go to file system, you'll see that 
that error that we encountered earlier is no longer there. Okay, and you can see now uh, uh, storage mode is on the file system. So where does X module store the macro? So it, by default, it is stored in the desktop folder. So if we go to the finder um, and I go to my desktop folder, you will see now there is a new folder here called UI vision. And if I were to extend this, uh, you will see that I have some subfolders and one of it is macros and you see that there's nothing in the macros right now. So now if I actually come here and I create a macro, I'll just create one demo dummy macro. Okay. And let's just add some commands. Um, maybe my command is to uh, open the web page. Okay, and my web page is okay. Okay, that's my that's my web page, and I save it. So now I have a demo dummy macro uh, in uh, in my local file storage. Now, if I actually go back to my Finder, you will see now there is a new file here uh, with my macro in it. All right, so um, with X modules, uh, what we've seen today in the video is to enable X modules to access the local file system um, uh, so that we can now store our macros uh, locally in our file system instead. And when we run our scripts and if we want to save whatever uh, CSV files, uh, we can now save these uh, locally in the computer rather than uh, just within the browser session that we have seen in the earlier two videos. What we're going to cover next in upcoming videos is to take X modules further uh, to understand what else it can do. Yeah, so till the next video, um, this is me signing up. Thank you.